Hey y'all, this is Intuitive Queen Char back with another impromptu but very um, prophetic message confirmation. Oh, I tell y'all, this 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 gift I have is just way down the block, and I'm still here. It's so far ahead of me. Uh, sometimes I don't know what to do. Like, what am I supposed to do, Lord? Do I, what do I do next? But let me tell you real quickly what happened. If you go back Friday, go back to Friday. I did a divorce reading because I saw it clearly when I got off the train, I was walking to the elevator in the parking lot and I <gasps> stopped because I saw it right in front of me. I saw two men in court. One was the attorney. One was the uh, the person he was representing, and on the other side was a woman and three females. So it was four females on one side, two men on the other. I clearly told you guys that I saw a business card flash in front of me with the attorney's name on it. It was Edward something the third or something Edward the third. There was no S at the end, just Edward. That's why I thought it was his first name because you rarely see somebody with the last name Edward with no S at the end. Long story short, about 20 minutes ago, I get a new follow request on Instagram from somebody, last name Edward. That wasn't just the kicker. The kicker was in his profile name, the last three numbers were 111 or the third. I was too through. I'm not going to respond to him. I don't want to be his friend. I'm not. I get a lot of different guys trying to. Most of them are probably scammers. I, then again, if they're not, I'm not looking to pick up any online romances. But it just let me know that the vision I saw was confirmation. And I'm not here to let me make this perfectly clear. I'm not here to glorify divorce. OK, I'm not here to glorify a family being separated, but I also don't glorify somebody going to jail because they have snapped under the pressure of a spouse who is abusing them mentally, financially, physically, or all three of the above. When it comes down to that, it's best you all live in separate households, have joint visitation with your children if you have kids, pay your child support, pay your alimony support, suck it up like a man or a woman, and keep it moving. It's not that big of a deal. Once you're done with the proceedings, trust me, you go to work, you, you go play football, you go to barbecues, you hurt, you heal, you learn your lesson, and you move on. But staying with somebody and you miserable, and you want to be somewhere else, you want to be away from them, and if they say one wrong thing, you're going to wring their neck or go get the gun out out, out the, the cubby hole, wherever you hide it at, and you just snap, you dead. I'm sorry, they're dead or you're dead. You're in jail or they're in jail. Your kids are orphans or they visit one of y'all in jail. It's not worth it. It is Maybe that's what I meant to see to relay the message. It's time for you to move on, sir or ma'am. So the first thing I did is I, 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 I was in the bathroom and I started praying, God, please, you know, what am I supposed to do with this gift? What, what do you want me to do next? So while I'm waiting on the word, because my answer is definitely going to come, I said, let me pull two cards, one representing the man, one representing the woman. I got these from my traditional tarot deck, the big deck. These are not love messages. These cover life in general, everything from love to betrayals to money to everything. The card I pulled out, I, I put this on my late mother and brother. This card, these two cards are, in my opinion, signifying the two people in the divorce. And I'm going to tell you why. Look at this. The strength card. One of them is going to need strength. They're going to need confidence. They're going to need courage. They're going to need strength to get through this divorce. I feel like this is the one that's not celebrating. Because I told you the man said, let her have it all. Let her have it. At least I'm free. 
So I'm picking up that the female is the one that's going to need strength to get through this. And I still keep picking up her saying, what's everybody going to say? Ma'am, sis, I don't know you from Adam, but don't worry about what people say. Don't, don't worry about that. Raise your children. Go to your job. Take care of home and keep it moving. Don't, people going to talk about you anyway. They talked about Jesus. Whether you're doing good or bad, if you're doing good, what they doing to make that money? Are they scamming people? Are they selling drugs? What are they doing? I mean, just people are going to always gossip. Then the other card that fell out was the Four of Wands. Ironically, today is 11-11. This, this is too much, y'all. This is a, the Twin Flame card, the 11-11. This is celebration, um, joy, being with your Twin Flame. I believe this is the card representing the male. He said, because at least I'm free. This, 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 I'm stuttering. This right here, when I saw that name, after I saw Jimmy yesterday, I said, Lord, really? Oh, my goodness. For once, Queen Shar is, is speechless. That's confirmation, the car horn blowing outside. But listen, again, um, I may not do a read tomorrow, depending on what I dream tonight. But I just wanted to come back and tell you all, if you are going through a divorce, it's not the end of the world. When my mother divorced my father when I was eight years old, she went back to work after lunch, after the court proceedings. I'll never forget they had court at 12 noon. She called me around three-ish. She had already been out of court. She had, you know, talked to her friends on the phone. And she told me, baby, me and your father are divorced. Take the chicken out the freezer. I said, okay. And I went outside and jumped double dutch. That was after school. My mother kept it moving. She was strong. She raised three children. She didn't go through the whole, what am I going to do without my man? How am I going to make it? She made it work. And she created some strong children. I am like a rock. Don't play with me. Thank you, Ma, for the strength. Thank you, Ma, for the strength. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope this resonates with somebody. Uh, for the good, not for the bad. And and don't take divorce as the end all be all. And God, please, I pray the vision of the woman with the pills in her hand night before last was not the woman who is now divorced. Miss, don't take no pills over no man. Please, if, if, if you happen to stumble upon this video... And this applies to you. Don't end your life over no man. Please. I don't care who you are. Whether I know you or not. It's not worth it. Because once you're gone, you ain't coming back. And you're going to hell. It's written. You don't take your own life. Alright, y'all. Take care.